Okay. Thank you very much for that kind introduction. Um, you know, when I was asked to be the speaker at today's commencement ceremony, my thoughts immediately raced back to my graduation ceremony over 30-something years ago and the sage words of wisdom that our commencement speaker had bestowed on us. I drew a blank. Not only could I not remember anything that this person had said, I, I could not remember who it was. I have a vague recollection that it was a he, and I do remember that he spoke either about energy issues or climate issues, but I could be wrong about that. And it was not that it was a bad speech or he was a bad speaker. I'm sure it was very inspired. It was just that my mind was on other things, mainly graduating and stepping out into the working world. So I'm sure many of you are in the same position today. And my only hope is that perhaps 30 years from now, you'll at least remember who spoke at your graduation. And if I do it correctly, maybe a little bit about what I've said. So first graduates, let me say congratulations. Having attended graduate school at this institute, I know how hard you've worked to be here today. It is not easy and it took a total commitment on your part. I'm here to tell you though, it was totally worth it. You leave here with a strong foundation, great experiences, and tied into an alum a valuable network of alumni that will allow you to chart a successful course wherever you choose to go. So well done. You are all very well aware of the valuable knowledge that you have gained here at Georgia Tech. After all, you took the classes, sweated through the tests, completed the projects and the research. As I mentioned earlier, you came with a solid foundation that has been further refined during your master's studies. But what you may not be aware of is that you've gained a whole host of other skills and talents that are equally as important and as critical to your success in the real world. You have learned time management skills, for example, as you've learned how to balance schoolwork, extracurricular activities, and relaxation, even sometimes including sleep into that equation. You have learned to believe in yourself and your talents, and probably have discovered talents and skills that you never even knew existed. You have had to manage your finances at a level much greater than before. You have learned the importance of teamwork and integrity. You have learned how to rely on others and let others rely on you. All of these skills have been developing and honing since you've arrived here. And all of these skills are necessary to succeed in life just as much more than the academic success you have already demonstrated. If you cannot work as part of a team, if you, cannot be, if you cannot be a reliable friend, spouse, or family member, if you cannot figure out how to balance your life work between work, family, play, and me time, then you are going to be struggling from the get-go. If you forget who wrote the Odyssey, or if you forget the second law of thermodynamics, or the Nobel Prize winning theories of economics, believe it or not, you will survive. Another valuable skill you have learned during your time here is how to take complex problems and break them down into manageable chunks to solve in a logical, systematic manner. In graduate school, you refined your problem-solving ability one step further to not only solve complex problems, but to frame them in the first place. That skill, the ability to tackle undaunted, large, seemingly overwhelming problems with blasé and calm, you will find as you enter the next phase of your life is very valuable and applicable in all aspects of your life. It is a skill the world values, and sometimes it is not evident that it is a widespread capability. And that brings me to my next point. I have some bad news and some good news for you. I will give you the good news first. Having decided what you want to be when you grow up, coming here to earn that degree that will allow you to pursue that desire, and now with that degree finally obtained, you're heading forth to go grab hold of that destiny. Mission accomplished. Things are well in hand, and you can probably see your future laid out in front of you, having made one of the first difficult decisions in life, mainly, what do I want to do when I grow up? Again, well done. Well, now for the bad news. Just when you thought you had completed one of your first difficult issues, deciding what you want to be when you grow up, and having checked that box, ready to put that subject away and go to the next big issue, I am here to tell you that you will many times in your life be faced with the very same question. The question, what do I do when I want to grow up? What do I be when I want to grow up? Is a question that never disappears. Now I presented that as the bad news because today of all days, you want to and should bask in the successful execution of a difficult task, content with the knowledge that you can rest for a bit. But let's examine the topic a bit more and at the end I hope you come to agree with me that having the question, what do I want to do when I grow up, pop up again and again, while perhaps a bit stressful from time to time, is really a good thing. I knew when I graduated that I wanted to be an astronaut. I also knew that I wanted to get a PhD, 
and I thought that was going to be in physics. I had no idea at that time that I would end up studying material science. I did not know what I did not know. You are in that same exact situation. You are going out to your first job, armed with a strong academic experience, and your thoughts of what it should be like to apply that experience. Your first job may or may not live up to your expectations, but that's really beside the point. The point I want you to remember is that your degree and your educational career is a starting point, not an ending point. Life is a journey in which we are always learning new things and having new experiences. It is about growing and exploring our potential. Humans are intentional, inherent explorers. As you start your first job in your chosen field, you will discover things that you never heard about, learn about specialties in your field that you've not dreamed of, get exposed to other disciplines you have not imagined. Never ever feel that because you have answered the what do I want to be when I grow up question once, that this question is closed. Never feel it is too late for you to pursue a dream that comes upon you whenever that should happen. Excise the word impossible out of your vocabulary. Armed with the knowledge you have spent the few years obtaining here at Georgia Tech, the discipline you have learned in order to acquire that knowledge, the skill set you had to develop to be successful and complete your research and program of study, you can now quite literally achieve anything. Whether your field of study is the arts, the sciences, engineering, or something else, you have all the tools to do whatever it is that you can dream of. Quite frankly, you can do anything you put your mind to, large or small. Haven't we discussed the fact already that large, scary, complex problems do not intimidate you? The sky is not the limit. Trust me, I know. <laughs> I will close with one final short piece of advice, a summary, if you will, knowing that I, received just, I just received everyone's attention with those last fine words. Find a dream. Find a passion. Go for it. Forget the word impossible. You can do it. Let nothing stop you. You have everything you need to be successful. So congratulations again, and may your life be fun and challenging and filled with constant learning experiences. Thank you very much.